After a spectacular Super Saturday, the top of the pylon is dominated by potential first-time Live Golf winners. Paul Casey, Carlos Ortiz, Adrian Moronk and David Pooge are all 10 under par with 18 to play. But could this finally be a day of glory for Patrick Reed? The Houston native is only one shot back on Championship Sunday. Why not? Sergio, his second shot at three. So in control, as always, with that swing. Nice little languid wedge. And... Oh! <laughs> what a start that would have been. <laughs> Abraham Anser is a fireball. This is his third shot at eight. Recovered from his opening round 75, which didn't count, with a 66 yesterday, which did. We are at the first hole, David Pooge. What's the translation there, Suan? What he said, Arlo. He said the wind's coming from the right, plus or minus a couple of yards, and it's uh, 115 yards. Mm. <laughs> this is looking pretty good if it sits. Oh! That's the flag stick. Oh! Pooch for his par at one. Solid start for the young Spaniard. He remains one back of Morocco. So if we don't, if we can't hit this, I think our place is to lay up there, which is the widest part. Why don't you just hit like, the three wood with that? With no. that with the, you don't like that? No, I don't like it. Say 40 short. Yeah. 210. No, Sergio doesn't like the three wood because he'd have to take something off it with the water on the left. He's going to lay it up. See if Sergio's layup pays off. At the par five fourth. And it looks like it could well do. That is very smart golf. This is Cam Smith, his third shot at eight. Just take a look, bottom left of your screens. Ripper GC are surging. He made that for his birdie. Mark Leishman. An opening round 67 was five under par, and then a, he was level after a second round 77, but that was for Eagle at 12. Ripper GC 22 under, they only trail now by six. If Lucas can make birdie there, they gain another shot, and Sergio could yet drop two at five, so the lead might be down to three. It started at nine. And he makes it. Well, we mentioned that the team competition can be so volatile on Championship Sunday. And look at that, bottom right. Ripper are six under par already. So what was a nine-stroke deficit over the first place fireballs is only three. If I could get one closer here. Three straight birdies for Matt Jones. Ripper are on a tear. They only trail the fireballs by two shots. Mark Leishman playing with Matt Jones. This is for birdie. And it's only one shot now, the gap between Ripper GC and the Fireballs. Can they make it three in a row, the Aussies? They trail by nine at the start of play. The gap is just one. Huge advantage here for Puj. He's about 20 yards ahead of Carlos. And flip wedge. That's beautifully judged. Sebastian Munoz, he has interest in the team competition. That was for birdie at one. Torque in third, five back of the fireballs. Well, Cam Smith in a spot of bother here. The tenth. This can only come out low. Oh, wow. 
Oh, oh, shot. Nice. Wow. What a piece of imagination there. That's impossible. Very good. Cam Smith has made his birdie. Abe Answer, his second out at number 12. From the fairway, just a wedge. He laid up quite a long way back. We've seen guys having a go at this green all week. Excellent stuff from Eugenio Chicada. Mito Pereira is playing well today. That was for birdie at 15, and Torque are within four of the fireballs with lots of golf to be played on Championship Sunday. Mito two under today. Cam Smith, the captain of Ripper GC, who have surged up the pylon. Second at the 11, and he has another birdie opportunity there to get the Rippers even closer once more to the fireballs. And he <laughs> makes no mistakes there. Matt Jones now on the 16th tee, 180 yards. Matt Jones. For Ripper GC, he can do very little wrong today. He's five under through his opening seven holes. Ripper GC, 13 under today. They lead by one. Paul Casey out at six. From the middle of the fairway, even though there's a lot of grass on the bank that runs into the water, it's so steep. If you're short on this shot, I think the ball might collect into the water. So just a little close to pin. No, you can't risk that. Yeah. He's been around a while. Yeah. Excellent shot right there. Back to five, and Pooj has this for the outright lead. David Pooj, 22 years of age. Could it be his day today in Houston? He leads by one, and the fireballs are tied with Ripper GC in the team competition. Now, Carlos. This to tie the lead. Good stroke. Mm. Good putt. They're trading blows here, Suan, aren't they? Moronk and Ortiz and Pooj. This is to get the pole level on 12 under. Make it look easy here. And David Pooj to reclaim the lead. David Pooj of the Fireballs leads by one. Carlos, cross breeze left to right, hole locations tucked back right. And let the wind just take it, which is what Carlos is doing. Looking good. Looking very good. So here is Carlos Ortiz to tie the lead on 13 under with David Pooj. And they're going toe to toe, these two. Well, the five balls led by four coming into Championship Sunday. They were hauled in by Ripper GC, but they're now three clear. Sergio Garcia at the 11th for birdie. Brilliantly done by the skipper. Well, you can't count out the Crushers on Championship Sunday. Victorious twice already this season. They are the season-long team leaders, and they are 27 under par. They only trail the fireballs by six. What a tee shot at seven by Bryson DeChambeau, the captain. Annabelle yeah. Lahiri drains one at 12. And that was for Eagle. Patrick Reed, his second shot at the nine, thought really pulled his tee shot way over there. But that's beautifully played. And now here is another one of our stars, Cam Smith. Oh, he's rattled another one in. That was for Birdie at 15. Cameron is eight under par. And Ripper GC are back to within two. They're 14 under as a team today. Casey's wedge. 
online. Blame the wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, does the wife get credit if this goes in? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Well done, Pollyanna. Well, this is a long putt for Morocco. It's uh, so difficult to putt when you're off the green, when you have that much grass in front to judge the pace. A really difficult decision there. Chipping would be difficult too. Left to right. Tracking. Oh, oh, yes. Easy par. Still all to play for with nine holes to play on Championship Sunday in Houston. This is the 11th fairway. Adrian Moronk is the next to play. Just a wedge for Moronk. This is right at it. Great shot there. About seven feet away, just short of the hole. Perfect leave for Moronk. Uphill putt. Morocco to within one of Carlos Ortiz for the time being at least. Mm, Five balls, Captain Sergio, third at 15. Yeah, a really awkward one. Here, the ball a little below his feet. Oh, a magnificent <laughs> shot from there. That was incredibly difficult. Well, the cliques are making their move here on Championship Sunday. Remember, they finished on the podium last time out in Singapore. Richard Bland is three under par today, the senior PGA champion. That was for birdie at five. Marty Keimer went into round two as a joint individual leader. And he is nine under par individually. That was his third shot at 15. The cliques today eight under par. They're within two now of the fireballs. Boy, that sounded nice and looks nice. Yeah, he likes it. He should love it. <clears throat> what a shot. The cliques have never won a team competition. And they're tied for the lead now, remarkably, on 31 under par. Martin Keimer. Magnificent. He taps it in and the cliques hit the front. Kali Samoya with his second shot at the fifth. Yeah. And Kali Samoya to give the cliques a four shot lead. Yes. Are we witnessing live golf history here? Patrick Reed to try and get back to 11 under, and that's a bit of a consolation prize, maybe. Running out of holes. Smash have got themselves into third. Brooks Kepka for birdie at five. He's five under par today, the captain. Taylor Gooch is also five under par today. Smash are 12 under as a team, and they've got it to 29 under collectively. They trail the cliques by five, but they lead the crushers by three. <laughs> Ortiz, this for Eagle, long range. It's going to start breaking left here. Oh, that's very good weight. Wow, what a good putt. Thomas Ortiz to tie it up at 15 under with Adrian Moronk. Ortiz, Moronk. Oh, it's seizing control here in Houston. As we go back to Richard Bland at eight, this is third shot on the par five. Not only is he you know, buying for that clique's first title, he's one shot away from even earning points in the individual tables. He just slipped outside the lock zone of 24, the last event. That's hugely important to him. He has said when his live career is over, he's going to retire from competitive golf. Oh! And nobody wants that to be this year. Pace 
finishing it off. Oh, delightful. This is Keimer at 18 from the right hand fairway bunker. South Cam Smith hit it well into the lake from there. Oh, come oh, on. Boy. What a shot. And Marty Keimer with a great three at 18. Captain Brooks is on the seventh tee. Two holes remaining, including this one for Brooks Kepka. Five under par for his round. Taylor Gooch is six under par. Brooks for birdie at seven to tie smash for second once again with the fireballs. Brooks is six under par today. This is the first hole, and Smash GC's Jason Kokrak, who's had a, a strange tournament, he's three over par for his round today. If he can end this round well, and that is fabulous from Jason Kokrak. I didn't get to see the live for Carlos, but uh, he doesn't have a lot of green to work with. It's going to take some magic hands. Had it on the upslope there, really wasn't a difficult bunker shot to end. And boy, he made it look easy. Great job. Thank you. Sergio Garcia for birdie at one. Fireballs aren't quite out of it yet. Sergio has played beautifully today. He's four under par. This is Patrick Reed now tied with Pooj in third place. Long range birdie effort. Up and over the ridge. Keep turning. Yes. Wow. Too little, too late for Patrick Reed, but that's an amazing effort. Here's Brooks. Brooks. Kepka for birdie. Oh, and he drops it in. Smash within one. One behind the cleeks. And the 11. Then he stakes oh, it. Yes. Up. The cliques have got it to 33 under par because of guess who? Richard Bland to end his round with a birdie at 11 and the lead is two. Moronk has a nice clean lie in the bunker. He does, David. And it's slightly above his feet, which <laughs> helps with this pin. But what a pin to have to attack. It's middle of the green. It's trying to turn over. Well, let it curl down a little bit, get ever so much closer, and we still have a horse race. So close, Carlos Ortiz. It's the first time Carlos Ortiz has missed a green on Championship Sunday here today. Well, up and down wins it. How good is that? Well, it's a nice situation for Carlos Ortiz now, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure is. This won't be going very fast when it falls in the front edge. Be uh, just a little left edge putt. Two would do it. The corks are ready to pop. <laughs> <laughs> it was never going to be going quickly. What a performance by Carlos Ortiz. Carlos Ortiz victorious individually here in Houston. The champagne is sprayed, the corks are popped. It's been another sensational championship Sunday. Ortiz and the cliques victorious.